All right, so today we are working on a snow plow uh, training video for our company. As you can see behind me here, we've got uh, trucks with plows on them. Uh, we have some sand that we are using as our fake snow since it hasn't snowed yet here in Cleveland. And uh, we have our skidster set up and we're gonna teach the crews and the people uh, that work for us how to plow loading docks. That's right behind us. Parking areas, uh, streets and entrance ways, if you can see back here. We've got that behind me, uh, which could use basically use as a street. And uh, we've got it set up. We're spending the day out here training our snow plow crews because snow's coming around the corner. It's a big part of our business. So uh, we're gonna reset over here and take a look at what we've got and uh, go from there. I explained to him he had this little he had this little row here if he would have split that down the middle what happens is when you back drag the snow is going to pull backwards but it's also going to go to each side yeah. so this is an eight foot blade if you would if he would have split it down the middle he would have had room on either side that would have pulled it back as it started to lay out as well so luckily one of our customers is letting us use this uh it's basically just an open building right now they're actually going to be occupying it soon and we'll be taking care of it for them but uh, they were nice enough to let us utilize this to do our snow training. All right, so we're using this as our snow. We also have our salters hooked up to our trucks. As you can see back there, we're going to practice uh, using the salters as well. Yeah, that covers and that next covers up, we're going to talk about the salt spreader. Now we're going to cover our salt spreading in a commercial parking lot, uh, the salt spreading application. The truck we're in right now is a V-Box salt spreader. It's a salt spreading unit that sits in the back of the truck and has a, is attached to an electric motor and a spinner, uh, as, as most salt spreaders do. Ours is a salt dog. It, every truck that has a salt spreader has a operational uh, control box inside. Okay, so uh, whether you're a big company or a small company, it's important to have a training program. And uh, I think it's important to do it, you know, weekly if you can. I know it's kind of hard, but uh, we're working on uh, getting a video done a week so that we can just upload this to either a, a YouTube channel for our company or just have it in our archive so that when a new person comes and starts to work for us, they can just access these training videos and uh, basically just watch them and learn how we do things. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, that's, that's what happens when you're done with the pizza. Tear that puppy up. Give me a thumbs up, more good. You're gonna edit, do all your Yeah, stuff. I'm gonna edit it for sure. That's what you want it to look like right there. Okay, right right here we are actually working on plowing forward. So pushing forward, we're not back dragging, but we're pushing forward and we're working on uh, pushing the snow instead of back dragging the snow. This is your controller up, down. For float, you want it. The green buttons, when it's not in float, red button is in float. You want that for when you're plowing, back dragging at all times. All right, so cleanup time. Gonna clean up the 
parking lot here and we're done with our snow training. Uh, we got some good footage for our training videos. We can now we can use them in the future. And uh, you know, it's a good idea to do that kind of stuff. All right, so that's a wrap for the training today. You know, I don't have to be out here as an owner, but I think it's important sometimes that we uh, be involved in our employees and what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't have to be micromanaging or on top of uh, you know every sing single thing that's going on in the company. However, being a part of things like this training training day um, goes a long way. So hopefully you're out there training your people, creating your culture, and doing a, a great job at it. Thanks for watching, man.